Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Whoever said that's so Imagine a place where coconut trees line the shores. If you wanted a fresh coconut, you climbed a tree to get one. This is Rajarampa, and instead of spending the pandemic cooped up inside, we spend our days mostly outdoors, exploring and living simply. That today holds more. There's so much more. There's so much more. There's so much more. Someone who says I can't be done no more Or oh, you'll never reach it, no Because it's unreachable Picnic lunches in paradise on today's menu Tara made mini quiches and a yummy salad Oh my god, it looks amazing! They don't know where to go to so they fall on you But I know That today Holds more And I know That tomorrow Will show Us so much more So much more being amongst so many islands means there is something new to see around every corner. Plenty of underwater nooks and crannies to explore. A cave, a dream that no one could save. A shelter, a whole act, a light that died with the night. You and I, we got our differences. Pretty common question we get asked is don't you get bored out there? But the truth is, we're always doing something to keep us entertained. We get to fill our days with whatever we want, exploring new places, finding underwater caves. Some might see this as scary or irresponsible parenting, but these sharks are little reef sharks and they likely won't eat you. used to swimming with sharks when we spear and scuba dive but this time there were a lot and it was super cool to see so many sharks swimming around each other I know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you we do this every day and 
And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two little guy how cute is he did you know that they go across the sand with their little feet on the bottom I did Is a toilet. Mm. <laughs> How's that for a loo? A loo with a view. A loo with a view. <laughs> oh, it's super cute. This is the view you get sitting on the toilet. Pretty nice. Strength, confidence, agility, determination, and ability. All things you need to climb a coconut tree. I love that these kids have all these things and no fear, but most importantly, trust themselves to do it. Sure, it's risky, but so is crossing the street. Trusting that they've got this and knowing they believe that they can do it outweighs any fear of them falling.
On dinner time, we have been remote in um, Wyag. Well, actually, we left Sarong, which was the last port we were in, with a supermarket and supplies about three weeks ago. So we're getting low on veggies. Not too low. We're still all right. We've still got some fresh stuff in the fridge. But Lee is uh, about to chop into one of the last things that we've got. When we're getting down to this, it means that we're getting to the end of our veggies. But these things are great to have because they store for ages. And this thing is massive. So I'm having a pizza night tonight and uh, Lee's chopping up the biggest pumpkin you've ever seen in your life. And now we can eat pumpkin for the, however all the rest of the time we're out here. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. A good tip if you are going remote, grab a pumpkin or two and keep that in storage and you will always have some fresh vegetables. Potatoes and all the root vegetables, they last a little bit longer than all the other ones. But yeah, that pumpkin we bought about three weeks ago in Sarong and it's still good, Lee just chopped it now. We're getting down, we've got some carrots in the fridge, I've got a few onions, some potatoes. Um, cooking up the last of our eggplant. We're getting low. We're getting low on fresh food, but we've got some frozen peas and we've got frozen veggies and tin veggies, so we're pretty good, but that's what happens when you go remote. You run out of vegetables. Look at this, guys. Look at this one I prepared earlier. <laughs> so we got a little pizza platform going there. Bit of homemade sauce. A little condiments there to go on top. Pizza, pizza, pumpkin. Oh, it looks like a bit of feta going on there too. Oh, it looks like a healthy feta, one. A Not only is there pizzas going on there, there's another one going on over here. Right. Master Chef Matt. Weber. Look at that thing go. Oh, that looks like a good pizza. Yeah. Can you imagine living on a boat and not knowing how to swim? Well, that's our friend Evie, and today she is snorkeling Raj Rampa. What an absolute legend. Evie, we think you are very inspiring living this lifestyle. This is a giant clam. The giant clam only gets one chance to find a nice home. Once it fastens itself to a spot on the reef, there it sits for the rest of its life. These bottom dwelling behemoths are the largest mollusks on earth, capable of reaching four feet in length and weighing more than 500 pounds. 
They live in warm waters of the South Pacific and Indian Ocean. Have you seen the guys in the South Pacific? They stick their hand in with a knife. Oh, really? They come around and then they cut it. Oh, they If they cut it well, they live if they don't do that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mantis shrimp are cute little creatures, beautiful and vibrant in colour, but don't be fooled, this little cutie is deadly, able to club prey with the force of a bullet, or spike them with their sharp claws. The mantis shrimp is notorious for their striking force and have the nickname thumb splitters due to the painful gashes they can cause if handled without care by humans. Smasher mantis shrimp have two reptile appendages on the front of its body that is used to punch its prey. These fists are spring-loaded, able to accelerate from their bodies at over 50 miles per hour, delivering a force of over 1,500 newtons, enough to smash through crabs and clamshells. That's 2,500 times the force of the shrimp's own body weight. If a human could do that, they'd be able to punch through steel. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. A special thank you to our patrons because these videos would not be possible without you guys. And if you want to know how to support our videos by becoming a patron, the link is down below. Put a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>